Hey guys, I do I Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share a few iPhone mods that I think you should definitely try right now on your iPhone. These are going to be mods that I currently post on social media you guys are always asking about. So I figured to make a video on some of the latest mods that I use every now and then on my iPhone. And I also want to share with you guys an ultra low power battery saving mode that will allow you to get through that last 10% or 5% of battery life at the end of the day. So let's just dive right in. Now, the first thing I want to share with you guys is these really cool wallpapers that allow you to blend in the background of the dock and the background of widgets and folders all in one. So links, of course, will be in the description. Let's head on over here to my list of wallpapers. But go ahead and apply this one here and show you that this one allows me to blend in the background of widgets, the folder, the background of the dock, and it gives your device a really nice clean look. As you can see right there, there is no background for this dock right now. You can see some of the icons also blend in. We see that the actual widget is also blend in. And of course, the folder background is also blended. So it looks like the icons are sort of floating around there on the home screen. Now this one is available in the description as I mentioned. It comes in several colors. You have black, white, silver, and then other colors to match your iPhone colors. So you have sort of a gradient here with gold. It's available for all iPhones. We also have greenish, purple, etc. You can choose even from Apple logo background wallpapers, and this allows you to blend in that background for the folders, for the dock, and for the widgets. As I mentioned, it is a really cool, simple mod using a wallpaper, but I think you guys are gonna really, really enjoy this one. Now, the next mod I wanna share with you guys allows you to change the lock for the lock screen of your iPhone. This lock right here, you can modify it and change it to make it look sort of like an Apple logo or any other icon that you choose from these sets of wallpapers, which I'll link in the description. Now, I'll link the Apple logo once, as you can see right there, it looks like you're unlocking with an Apple logo, and you can choose from several colors they also have other icons that you can choose from and I'll link everything in the description so let's head on over to settings here and let me show you you have two sets of wallpaper you have one with the Apple logo or half an Apple logo and then you have a clean one now this one is for the home screen of your iPhone so set this one for the home screen here so let's go ahead and click here set set for home screen and then the one with the Apple logo obviously is going to go for the lock screen of your iPhone so let's go ahead and set this one here for the lock screen and there we go we're all set now as i mentioned links will be in the description you get two wallpapers per setup all you have to do is tap into the wallpaper tap and hold and save it to the camera roll make sure you do that for both wallpapers and you're all set so let's go ahead and see the apple logo right there unlocking on the home screen or lock screen of iphone there it is it looks like you're unlocking an apple logo it looks really cool sort of like the commercials when you see apple commercials for privacy you have the apple logo unlocking and again as i mentioned there's other icons on this wallpaper list that I'll list in the description. I think they're really, really cool. It's a simple mod, but it gives you a device just this cool personal customization for the lock screen that's really lacking in iOS. Hey, last but not least, I want to share with you guys this really cool Siri shortcut that puts your iPhone in an ultra battery saving mode. For those of you that have a hard time getting through that last 10% or 5% of your day, this was going to be extremely useful. It walks you through several settings of your iPhone to achieve an ultra battery saving mode or an ultra low power mode. So, Links will, of course, as always, will be in the description. It is this one right here, and I'll link this one down below. Once you click Get Shortcut, it'll bring you to the Shortcuts application. You want to scroll all the way to the bottom and then click on Add Untrusted Shortcut. Now, don't worry. It is completely fine. I've been using this shortcut for a while. But before you do that, make sure you head on over to Settings, Find the Shortcut Extension, and Allow Untrusted Shortcuts to be installed on this iPhone. Once you click Install or Allow on this one, it's going to ask you for your passcode, which is the same one you use to unlock your iPhone and then you'll be allowed to install untrusted shortcuts such as this one here. Now if that is grayed out make sure that you have the screen time turned off. For some reason some users do experience that section there grayed out. Make sure screen time is turned off and once you're ready just go ahead and install it on your device and go to the shortcuts application once you have it. So I already do so I'm not going to do that again and then you want to click on these three dots right here. This is going to allow us to click on the share options and this allows us to add it to the home screen right here you can add it to the home screen you can change the icon color by tapping into the icon you can also change the icon look and also the name as well i'm not going to add anything i already added it to my home screen here as you can see there it is and let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. Once you tap it the first time, it's gonna walk you through the setup. Do you wanna enable the ultra low battery saving mode? We're gonna go ahead and click yes or on. 
The second question will be, do you want to go into light or dark mode? Of course, we're going to go into dark mode here to save even more battery. Do you want to put your device in ultra low display mode? So we're going to click on on and this is going to make the display uh, dim a little. And then we're going to swipe this away here. Wi-Fi on or off. We're going to go with off to save more battery. And there we go. You can barely see the display there. It is an ultra low power saving mode. And this is turning off Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, cellular connection and other options on your iPhone and bringing your display to the lowest possible, even lower than what Apple really allows you to in order to preserve that battery. You can barely see the display, but your iPhone will stay on in case you need to make a phone call for an emergency and so forth. You can tap it back and hopefully I can see these options once I tap back. Let's go ahead and turn it off. And then we're going to go ahead and allow this to go into about a 25% display brightness. And we're going to go into a light mode. And there we go. We're all set. It is now turned off. But it is a really, really cool Siri shortcut that I highly recommend you guys use on your iOS device right now in case you have trouble getting to that last 10 to 5% of battery throughout the day. This one's going to allow you to even just make phone calls before it shuts down on you. So thank you for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day guys and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.